Hey you guys, so um, this is the second review of the day, and I'm just going to show you in case I'm looking over like this way. Um, it's because my notebook's on the floor and it has all the information about this product that I want to tell you. So before I even show you the colors, I am going to tell you the cons to them. So right off the bat, it does wear off easily. Um, so, if you want a lip gloss that stays, I wouldn't recommend this just because it's not good at staying. It is pretty pricey. It's $18 for a full one, which is like this. So, and I don't know how much it is for a mini one, but they do have different sets of minis that come out at different times. And I believe they're even limited edition colors, so. Alright, now for some good stuff. There are 15 different shades you can choose from, from the original collection. If you get one of the minis, I can't guarantee that they're going to be um, from the full collection. Um, they might be, but it's just kind of played by ear. And... Obviously, since they are from Bare Essentials, they are infused with minerals. And it says they are infused with antioxidant vitamins A and E, which are for smooth lips. Smooth and soft lips, at least. Um, since they are a plumping lip gloss, as you all should probably know, um, they do tingle. But it's not like a painful one, like the Coastal Scents one, or a few ones like that. It's kind, it's noticeable, but it's not really noticeable. It's definitely not a sticky product at all. Um, it's actually pretty smooth wearing. I haven't worn all of these lip glosses. Um, I have had them for a while. But a few of them just don't look good on me, or I just don't like. So, now for the percentages, and this can be found on their site as well, so I got it from their site. I can't guarantee it is true, but it's on their site, and I don't believe that they'd have a reason to lie about this, but you never know. 86% um, of women experienced an immediate increase of lip fullness. I can't say that I have, um... It's possible, just not for me at least, so. 75% of women felt that the moisture in their lips increased. Um, I use um, a chapstick underneath, so I can't really give you an actual yes or no to that, but it's probably true. I just prefer to wear a chapstick underneath, though. And then 90%... 96% of women were satisfied with the overall improvement in their lips. I haven't worn these in ages, so um, I can't exactly tell you, but when I did wear them, my lips were a lot softer and a lot smoother. It's kind of like a chapstick and a lip gloss in one. So for the colors, my full size one I have in Katie which is just this pretty kind of baby pink color and it just has silver shimmers in it it's like not a special lip gloss but it, I like it it's super pretty and it's good for everyday wear and then I'll do the two colors I don't wear now which I'm glad if they are I wouldn't have gravitated to these anyways. Well, actually, I would have gravitated towards one. But I wouldn't have gravitated towards this one to begin with. But I'm glad it came in a smaller size so I don't have a full one and feel guilty. So, it's this brown color. And can you imagine that on me? Like, look. That would not look pretty. And this is an Isabella. The other one was Katie, if I didn't mention that. But this is just, like, a mud brown color. And it has, like, a gold shimmer to it. So, it'd be pretty on someone that isn't as pale as me. But I'm pretty pale, so... 
it just doesn't work on me. And then the other one that I'm not a huge fan of is Xena. And I definitely would have gravitated towards this one because it's just this kind of mauve pink color. But then when you put it on, it could pass off for a dazzle glass. But it's an uncomfortable dazzle glass. Um, I personally like dazzle glasses. Um, it's kind of a hit or miss thing. So, But this has chunky glitter and it's just not comfortable on your lips at all. If it wasn't so chunky, I'd absolutely love it because it's different colored glitter in it. And it's just such a pretty color and I'm so disappointed that the glitter was so chunky. I would have loved to love it. Now the next color I definitely wouldn't have picked up. And this is Danny. And it's this pretty kind of raspberry purpley color. And this just again has silver shimmer to it. Um, but it looks like it'd be so harsh on the lips and come off purple. But it's really kind of sheer and just gives like a sheer wash of color, which I personally love. And I was really surprised with it. I put it on and it was I was just going to experiment at home with it before going out. And I really, really liked it. And then my overall favorite of the minis is Destiny. And it's just this corally, pinky, orange color. And it has gold shimmers to it. And it's super duper gorgeous. I love to wear this. Um, I haven't worn these in forever, like I said. So I believe I will be wearing them a lot more. But they're such, such pretty colors. Um, I believe when you get the minis, you get at least four. Um, they are maybe 20 to $30. But they also come... Mine also came with four lipsticks to go with it. So that was kind of why it cost so much. And then this is $18 for a full size of an original one. I don't believe the limited edition ones come in a full size unless they're an actual permanent collection. Um, I'll put an annotation if you like some of these colors and I'll let you know what ones are limited edition and what ones aren't. Um, this one isn't because I got it in full size, so Katie is not. Katie. I'll just show you the names quickly. Danny. Oh, you can't see it because I... It rode over it, but... Danny. This one rode over it as well, but this one's Xena. Isabella? Focus! Okay, camera won't focus. And Destiny. So, for the ones I'd probably recommend, um, if it comes from, like, the original collection, I'd definitely get Destiny and Katie. So these are the two I'd definitely recommend. Um, the other ones are kind of just hit and miss. They could look so pretty, like this one, I wind up having chunky glitter, or... It could look so scary like this one, and it could be the sheerest color ever. So, Buxom Lip Gloss is definitely a hit or miss with the colors, and it's also kind of a hit or miss, depending on what you like in your lip gloss, seeing as it doesn't wear that long. So, it's all on what your taste is. I personally love this line, so... You could or you couldn't, so yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.